Welcome in guys, and we're going to try a game of Civilization today. Um, let's get into it. Uh, we'll start a game here. Um, as in game one, normally I play this for fun. I'm not trying to like speed run or anything like that. I normally play on a lower difficulty of somewhere like in the Emperor to Immortal range. But I think for this we'll just go straight DD. I've got maybe one win. And usually for me to win it's a slugfest. I get to like well, turn 250 or something. I'm not going to be a, a sub 100 player. That's not what I'm here to do. But for game one, uh, let's go into advanced here. Let's go to players and I want to be Canada. Because why not? That makes sense for the first game. It's a nice safe Civ. Um, if you look over here on the right, being Canada allows you to make farms on terrain. The farms are a little bit better on hills and tundra and snow. Uh, it basically lets you live on tundra is what all these numbers are saying. I get better production on tundra and better food. Um, the other thing is because of the diplomatic kind of tendencies of Canada, I cannot be declared war upon, which is really good against deity. I can't be surprise attacked. Um, and for all the tourism I get, I get extra diplomatic favor. Uh, I have a unique building where my builders can make one hockey rink per city. The hockey rink gives you an amenity and some culture, depending on how much tundra you're next to. Um, other than that, I've got a special unique Mountie. It's a unique um, me melee combat uh, guy. And what he does, which is unique to anybody else, is I can make a national park with him. And then he stays as being a military unit afterwards, too. So instead of usually getting to the late game and having to buy... A naturalist to make a national park I can get a Mountie so that will be the goal is I'm gonna play for Canada and generally when I play I don't like depending on the, the, the sieve I don't really force myself into a game type but I think I'm gonna concentrate on trying for a tourism victory so we'll confirm Canada here as a player I'll leave the others to be random um, city states I like to play jack okay let's go with first let's go map size um, six players the key here I'm playing on PlayStation not not modded uh, no UI mods nothing this is all generic standard gameplay um, on PlayStation I can select huge for 12 players it's not going to do it. It's going to cap out at um, large. And generally what's saying is the larger the map size you make, generally speaking, it, the longer the game is going to take to finish. So let's go here with eight players for now. We'll jack the city states up to max for what I can get onto a standard. Uh, the map I kind of tend to like, let's just keep this easy for the first one. We'll go Inland Sea, which the Inland Sea allows for much more space, much more land mass to expand onto. So we're going to go Inland Sea. Uh, I'm just going to make it easy. Let's, let's jump everything up to Abundant. Let's go, I'm not going to... Uh, change the any of that world age will go uh, if I go new then I get more hills and get more production that's gonna be the biggest problem if with living in the snow is generally speaking food and production uh, let's go with legendary and maybe we'll get a natural wonder uh, we'll go cold just to give me more space and rainfall sure let's go wet to get more some more trees Victory conditions, I don't generally disconnect. The only time I would ever change any of this is if you go to a small map with like two to four players, 
the the AI can do some weird things, and you can get like religious victories in turn three or four, or like it, there's just very strange things. You can get surprised with a Diplo f victory if you're not really looking for it. So just be mindful of all the victory types, the smaller the size you get. Um, I'm just playing on Gathering Storm. I've only got the one expansion. I don't have the full expansion packs. Um, I haven't played enough games to get through all the the sieves, so I haven't bought the expansion packs yet. Difficulty will be Deity. Uh, we'll just start on Generic, Standard Speed. Um, here's one I'm going to try. I've always found that I can kind of handle the barbs, but generally speaking, the AI can't. So I've gotten as far as like turn 200 and had computer controlled sieves still stuck on one city pinned back and, and all their settlers are taken by the barbs. So I turn the barbs off more for the AI to have a better chance than for me. Game modes, I'm going to add, let's go to Heroes and Legends just to make it fun. Barbarian clan mode is fun if you've got a sieve that likes a lot of that and one actually my f the, f the mode I have the most fun is uh, the, sh the shuffle mode it makes it kind of chaotic and here you can pick I could pick the rest of the leaders but let's just go with random so I'm going to start the game here I'm not going to bore you through the loading process but uh, let's say, uh, because I'm making a YouTube video of this, I'll give myself a couple of re-rolls, but I'll show you the start. So here we are, turn one, start one. Um, I could see the edge of the map. Generally speaking, that means the ocean is starting about 10 more blocks down from here. There's generally a severe mountain range just up to my north and west and I should be able to settle out at a ton of spots here. Now the key for me is I want to get a lot of faith really quick. I want to have two eras of golden age that I can monument, uh, I can monumentality and get settlers and just settle like crazy. Get Mounties and make a whole bunch of national parks, sit back and win a tourist victory. This would be a good start as far as I probably don't have any uh, sieves really close to me. Generally speaking, the next sieve will be like 30 tiles to my east and then there's going to be a bunch of uh, rainforest down here to my south and there'll be a guy down there. But I should be able to get probably 30 turns without seeing anybody if I settle right here. The problem is, is there's very little production. There's very little food. There's nothing really special. I've got one amenity here of wine and salt. Uh, not very good. It's not bad, but not very good. I kind of want something a little bit more interesting here. So let's do a re-roll and I'll get right back to you. We're about to get re-roll number one here. Uh, so the God roll for me for this would be a natural wonder that gives me some sort of faith or culture, um, which would then allow me to get my religion really quick. Uh, a relic would be spectacular. And then some kind of, uh, if I could get Hercules as a leader. Now, here we are probably mid on, no, we're on the other side now. So again, there'll be a mountain range somewhere a little bit to the east. Um, and then rainforest down here, and then probably a sieve somewhere within 20 blocks to my left. Um, as far as the start goes, this isn't bad with fresh water. It's about the same as the last one two amenities, some more hills. Um, this is just generic. This is reroll one. Let's do one more reroll. Why not? Reroll number two. And we are on the south shore. Let's get to the settler mode here. We're on the edge of the tundra. 
we're pretty close to the west side uh, I don't want to re-roll a thousand times this is probably a better I mean I could settle here somewhere for a coastal settle you know what I'm not gonna re one more re-roll come or go let's do it one more re-roll and that's it so let's see here oh, here we go this is a start this is a start okay what do we got here uh, Oya uh, not a bad hero not quite what I'm looking for right now but that is the start that I'm looking for so Ma Yosemite so two tile and passable natural wonder provides plus one gold plus one food and plus one science to all adjacent tiles so that is going to give me some good science and if you look at that juicy tile right there is going to make my life a whole lot better I've got a ton of forest I can chop to get out something right away if I need to but what this doesn't give me is a whole lot of faith early game so with any luck I need to get a do I settle right on that that is a hill I wonder if I settle on that do I lose a lot of it I don't know What, do I lose the science if I settle on it? I say I don't know. That's what I don't know. For science, do I just do it? Yeah. So what I'm debating here is the fact that these are all flat tiles, which means my capital is going to have nothing to boost it. Either way, that's the best tile. Yeah. Ooh. If that's faith, come on, let that be faith. I'm going to settle this, and he's going to go up north right away. Okay. Okay, plan. Plan in place. You go up here, get that. You settle here. Um, we want to rush. Okay, do I have any blocks? What am I? I'm just going to work Yosemite blocks here. I don't really need a builder to improve some tiles here. There's probably horse in through here somewhere. But there's not enough campsites to worry about Temple of Artemis early. So all I'm worried about is Holy Site. Do I have a stone here somewhere to make Stonehenge with? No, I don't see one. So I'm hard building a, a religion. So let's just go straight Holy Site. Uh, I can't do science until I actually start a city. I didn't know that either. So am I going to lose a lot of this? Right now it is a 3-2-2-2 two, two, two tile. I don't know what's going to happen. I lost the science off of it. No, 3-2-2. Two, two. I lost one production. That's not bad. Not the best, but not bad. So I can buy down into... I'm not going to have the best production here early, but that science is going to help a ton. And all the science is going to help a ton. It sucks losing two squares, but these should be breathtaking appeal. Yeah, the appeal's good. The appeal's really good through here. I'm going to have a ton of natural parks. There's going to be one mine there on the diamond. So yeah, this is going to be complete natural park area. Okay, map-wise, I am about mid to maybe a little bit east. 
So if I go scout here, it's going to take me forever, isn't it? Ten turns, and I can do a devotion. What I'm looking here for is I want to see... I want to see Hercules. And basically nothing but Hercules. I need faith right now is what I need. I need faith right now to get my Dance of the Aurora. Without Dance of the Aurora, uh, you basically need to switch to science. As far as I can tell. And I'm more interested in going the faith route. I should probably just go straight to science now, to be honest with you. From sitting here on top of Yosemite, I should be going science. I'm just so used to going faith. Inspiration for mysticism. Thanks. <laughs> Quite literally the worst thing I could... <laughs> Unless you have... Uh, like you're going to get a Pantheon in the game no matter what anyways. So unless you had a city-state that needed it right away for Nonvoy, like, that's like the worst thing I could have done. <laughs> oh. Do I s skip? I need faith, though. I need faith to buy Mounties. If I don't do faith for Mounties, I need to go for a science victory and not culture. What's that? That is Wolin. I do not know what Wolin does. Maui is good. Uh, is, he's really good though. So Maui will basically make a luxury. Hmm. I mean, right now I've got diamond. I don't want to see the thing is with making national parks is you have to have unimproved tiles. And if I put a mine here, it's going to lessen the peel of all the blocks around it. And if I use Maui here, he's going to put diamonds down. That's pretty much all you can put like diamonds or um, amber. Oh, I'm on the west. I'm on the far west. Hmm. I don't know what Wolin does. What does Wolin do? Great general points when land is defeated. Okay. If, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Not really interested. So, I think I just straight rush Holy Sight. I'm already there. I'm only a couple turns away. I need to rush Holy Sight and I need to get Dance of the Aurora and then maybe Work Ethic. Work Ethic would be good too. A physician without a knowledge of astrology. Hmm. Like I could just quit straight uh oh, 20. I got a plus three and I got a plus four. That kills that tile as a three, two, two tile. Ugh. That would give me error score for settling there next to that. Not the best tile anyways. Why don't I put it down here and buy that one? Let's buy ourselves another tile to work. I'm at two pop. It's an interesting start, but probably not my best. I've got no production at all. None. I've got one production. <laughs> I need growth. 
I can't can I spend 20 turns right now to make a holy site Ugh. that's just horrible just horrible I think I need to finish my scout first uh, let's go with mining because I could possibly chop out the good thing is I'm going to have science to tech through things pretty quick but I don't really need to like I'm not here to fight anybody I need another tribal hut in a bad way and I need to be faith or culture like you just fall behind you need a good mix of everything like I need culture to get to where I need to be for the tourism you need science for the tech to stay alive but I need faith to buy it like to buy stuff oh, that, that's 20 turns Twenty turns with no faith, or twenty turns to get some. Ugh. None of it's good. <laughs> None of it's good. Uh, like I could get steamrolled in the first first era. So I need to use science to my advantage. When you find yourself in a hole. Do, do, do. And all the songs you made. So, is buying anything helping me? I'm at three pop. What am I working here? I'm working that ocean tile for gold. Versus. Like, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to just fight through it. Uh, buy, uh, let's buy some, some forest tiles. And maybe that cuts some time off if I work that. Yeah. Jeepers creepers. At least, I mean, I can get gold pretty quick. It's nice. Let's get to see if, where, where the horses are. The horses shouldn't really affect my gameplay much. And there is gold. Banar Brunei. I do not quite remember what their mission is. Their um, what their bonus is. Your trading posts in foreign cities provide one gold to your trade routes passing. That's good. Like if you're Spain, that's really good. England. Canada in real life, great. Look where that poor city state spawned though. Like half of their available tiles are on the border. You think that there would be like a limit to where the it can't spawn us anything within the very edge of the the boundary, but yeah, it is what it is. Ideally, I would be pumping out scouts, like. I'm so torn in the fr at the start of the game, like, oh, I like scouts would be good because I want tribal villages. I, like, if I had had Hercules right now, I could have just made a holy site. Where did I get horses? 
Really? Not a single horse in my whole territory. Hmm. Like I did get animal, animal husbandry there, right? Yeah, just completed. Oh, well, I didn't want to sell anything anyway. So for science, I mean, things are looking good science-wise. I'm already early game. I'm learning things very quickly. So let's just double down and go to science, right? When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Let's just get to science. Meet another sieve. Hope we should meet. I mean, I've only got the one scout, but I'm only five turning things, so that's not bad. I get down to ironworking, and maybe I can get some production out of that. I, d I prefer to go peaceful. I find it more of the appealing method. Maybe it's because I'm Canadian. <laughs> I don't know. But... Um, no, let's just push down the, the, the religious route. Because I need I need religion. There we go. Let's get this God King in. Double experience. I don't have to worry about barbs. Production would be nice, but I need to fa I need a pantheon. I'm not gonna get an envoy. Whoopity doo da. Uh, actually, where I'm trying to meet a sieve, I'm going to have to bring that scout south and just search for a sieve, and maybe I can get a boost in science. Yeah, this is the problem with no culture. I'm not getting anything here. Improve three tiles or discover, discover a second continent, maybe. Maybe I'll get that. No. Yeah, let's go. Because I need these two things, right? I need a new government and I need a theater square. But this is going... To, I don't see me getting the faith in the, in the first... Yeah. So I have, I can possibly get Bander Brunei on side. I'm going to save the Envoy for now. Unless I can soothe one of these guys to get air score, I'm not too fussed about it yet. The, the bonus that they give me is from first meet anyways. I'm down to seven turns. Let's get this guy south. There's probably like a coastal sieve there to the north. And let's next turn. I don't know, sure. We'll get probably like to turn 25. Hopefully, we'll get a Pantheon and have some kind of direction. We are getting population pretty quick, which is good. And we are. Who is that? Arma. Arma is good for faith. Uh, I can now make a monastery, which is really good for faith production, which is exactly what I need. Although I am not first meet with Arma, so I need to become a suzerain. So I need the I need the Eureka from Masonry or from Masonry. How is that done? build a quarry. So I need to make a builder to build a quarry to get our ma to build a monastery to get a pantheon to ugh. <laughs> it's becoming a complicated puzzle right now. Hmm. That means that there's a sieve somewhere close to our ma Probably right about here somewhere. Hmm. So a monastery would let me get faith really quick. But I'm going to have to tear them down to make... 
Yeah, it's half a dozen of one, six of another, isn't it? I need 215 to buy a builder anyways that I don't have. I would basically, ha there we go. Poland's not usually the best to have as a neighbor. Poland, Jadwiga, tends to be very religious. They tend to rush a religion. They tend to force the religion upon you. Uh, good news is I'm beating her in science, just not in culture. Send her a delegation first turn. I gotta try to keep her happy with me. She has one diamond and only two extra cities. So she probably has another settler on the ground right now. Ooh. I can't, oh, I thought I couldn't, I can't declare war on her either. So the reason I say she has two cities is it means she has a third settler in the area right now. And she's up on me like I don't have a lot of space here. So if she keeps forward settling me, I'm not going to have a whole lot of room. Hmm. I might need to war Poland just to stay alive here in the next, like, era. Interesting. So we're on turn 20. Let's take a quick look at the great people and see if anybody is earning anybody yet there's no great people being earned anywhere ideally there's no great profit profit which is good um i could you know a little i never really think about it. if you've got a quick gold start you could always just buy a great profit i never think of that hmm not too good for me right now But uh, I want to leave that option open. So let's just get irrigation for now so that I can buy the water mill if needed. Yeah, I think she's going to settle her other. So. so I did the second meet. Let's go back up north and try to get more tribal huts before she gets them all. There's going to be a huge mountain range down through there blocking me, so I probably need to come back up through this pass to get out. And it's all going to be hills through there anyway, so I'm going to be like one block a turn. Oof. This is another slow start. Um, I've got good food growth in the capital. Yeah. Good food growth. I'm going to have a holy site in two turns. Um, I can build my next district. So am I going to have a good science game here? Hmm, I would have thought that... Does that not count as a mountain? It doesn't. Very weird. And then this doesn't count... As, I would have thought that these being scientific tiles, it would have counted as a bonus to... Uh, campus hmm the more you know so I'm gonna have to do with like cities connecting campuses together to get good bonuses I might have to do the rare game where I actually plant markers down 